How did he not wake up out of all of that? Hello there. All right, are you guys ready? Let's do it. What's up, Jack? Uh, we're playing Among Us with Jack, Dragon Force, one of the guitarists from Polyphia, and Jared Dines. And Jared Dines was actually on CBT. Jared was talking about a phasmophobia, and it was funny because I was watching Mio, Corone, Akayu, and Fubuki play phasmophobia last night. And it was actually a Fubuki finally hit a million subscribers during that stream, which was crazy. She was slated as going to be the first person, first VTuber to get it for a long time. And then Corone came out of nowhere and she said the e Kambokum word and then she exploded. And then at the last minute before, uh, at the, the last minute before Corone could nab it as the first one, Shark Girl said, ah, and then she got a million subs first. Anyway, all that to say, I really want to play uh, Phasmophobia. I missed the honeycomb in the beginning and then I missed that jump. I'm just like, yeah. Everything else is pretty good, but we got to start strong. I feel like we would have a good shot at it if at any point before Freeze Easy Peak, we end up a minute green. It's not going to be guaranteed, but yeah. Oh, Marnie wants me to PV. I want to PV for Marnie. All right, let's do it. Good otherwise one said ah, and it was good. It's true. At this point, I don't even know. Even if you have the meme that would get you a million subscribers, how do you ensure that victory? It's just so fickle now. I mean, like before, it was like if you got a million subscribers, you were you were YouTube famous, and now it seems like a million subscribers is like the benchmark. Which sounds ridiculous, because it is. It used to be like, I don't know, 100,000 subscribers, 300,000 subscribers, and then some, more, some point in, the, in between, subscribers started meaning absolutely nothing. Because subscribers doesn't even mean you're gonna see the video in your feed. Or subscribing to a channel, rather. It is crazy. It's almost like, it, it really is like inflation, you know? It's like one subscriber, I feel like, was worth more 10 years ago than it is now. But like, to who? I don't, I don't know, it's all, it's all just relative, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. Did that really just happen? <laughs> Did that really just fucking happen? Off to a good start. You know what we haven't done? We haven't dry and glided. This is saucy dry and glide. Let's go. Mm, baby. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's do it. There is a moth in my studio, and it is directly on the light above my screen, which is very distracting. So I really don't like moths. Oh, you're just fucking coming at me, are ya? Yeah. If I take damage, I, I wanna I wanna get health so that bottles doesn't take a little bit longer to heal me. Because if you have any less health, bottles is like, wow, you suck at this game. Here, have some pity health. Yeah, I love this new controller. It's really, really good. It's just so responsive. Like, just to give you guys an idea, like, that yellow controller that we've been using for a while, that was, like, the best controller I'd ever gotten in, like, a long time, and it just felt, like, so good and so responsive, and this controller is, like, twice as good. No, I don't use third-party controllers. It's definitely throwing me off because, like, yeah, I'm so used to kind of doing some things probably based on, like, kind of a, like, a, a slow response, and now I'm just kind of, now I'm just kind of in a flow, which is good. Banjo is such a bear. True. I don't know why I keep missing that fucking note. Is there a trick to not tensing up your hands while speedrunning? Yeah, just do it a lot. Just like anything. I mean, I think like one of the key things of anxiety, dealing with anxiety is just, I, I feel like, like unfortunately exposure, it gets bad when, when you're entering a, a state where things are like borderline, you know, PTSD. But like a lot of the time with performance, a lot of people can kind of get over performance anxiety by performing a lot. I definitely think that like, if you can find a way to perform like every day, it's hard because you got to find people to perform for, right? But that's honestly like I've always struggled with performance anxiety. You know, I used to get the uh, get the stomach aches, like the dizziness and like all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, the best thing I the best thing I did to overcome my own performance anxiety was streaming uh, guitar playing. And when I uh, thank you, Lonely Soundboard. Just because just because somebody kills at a at a performance doesn't mean that they're not nervous. Some people can be visually nervous, and that's not really necessarily like whether or not they get nervous. It's whether or not they can like hide it. Pre performance anxiety more than the actual yeah so the, the two things is always like if you have a lot of anxiety performing 
perform a lot, and two, remember that once you get out there, just don't worry about the whole thing. Just worry about the first note. And usually, I guarantee you, once you play the first note on stage, you'll be good. You, like, it's just about playing that first note. That's something Jack taught me, actually. Jack was the one who was just like, dude, like, I, I get I get really, you know, nervous. But then once I get up there and I play that first note, I remember, like, I know what I'm doing. This is, like, what I've trained for, you know? And, and like, you're like, oh, this, this is all this is. And then once you're there... You're all good. First note's the hardest, but it's a lot easier to go to the next note after you play the first note well. That's why I usually start most of my sets with songs that have like very simple first notes. I, I almost always start with Life Will Change because it's one chord. And like once I start playing that chord, I'm like, I'm good. And you also realize it's just like if you make a mistake, no one's gonna fucking hear you. <laughs> like, I mean, they might hear you, but like it's not even that big of a deal. People know that you're performing live and they they understand that. But like up until that point, it just feels like it, it, it's like, I don't know, you're it, it's a sin to make any mistake whatsoever, but it's all right. Well, that's why like I think I think a lot of people need to know like I can't remember like who finally put it into these words, but like so much of having anxiety is about the fear of what might happen, you know? And if you can just teach yourself that like, well, I mean, I say, like, you just, just do this. Like, if you can teach yourself to not anticipate, but to just react, it really helps a lot. Like, know that you can't plan for everything. Up to this point, nothing really that bad has happened, so there's no point in worrying about every possible scenario, because every possible scenario is not going to happen. And in literally 99.999% of the time, something bad happens, you're going to have time to react to it. You don't have enough time to react smart to it. Again with that shit. Please. Please. Oh my fucking god, dude. Juju is a bitch. How did he not wake up out of all of that? Yeah, I knocked the fuck out. Yeah, I, I swear I was within his, uh, his hitbox, but he didn't wake up. Weird. Felt like a like an optimal fast dive, but it didn't work. Whatever. One more. All right, here we go. So honestly, thinking like maybe what I should have done today is uh, stream phasmophobia in VR and just scare the shit out of myself, and then try to do a banjo run after. After I have all the like adrenaline going through my body, altering your body chemistry using outside methods be considered a task. It, it would only be a task if it was assisted by tool. Which, seeing I'm the biggest tool on Twitch, every run I do is a TAS. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to do a VTuber uh, collab with Luca. That'd be fun. There's a lot of um, appeal of being a VTuber, you know, because you can just not shower, you can just stream whenever, you just load up your VTuber profile and you're going, you know. You're Okay. Green. Again, I would like to be about... <sighs> Fuck! They always fucking spit roast me. Nabil, thank you so much for the 12 months, one year of never learning my actions have consequences. That definitely sums up my first year. Do I like Indian food? I love Indian food. Give me the paneer. I mean, paneer is cheese, so... You can't really call that Indian food. <laughs> you know, it's like... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just died to those fucking... Those fucking saw blades. Appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Appreciate ya.